So, I didn't expect to actually fight the embodiment of rage, but we did. We technically didn't kill it, it killed itself. And now we're on to even more horrific entities in Ad Infinitum. At the start of last episode, we saw some weird mechanical robot construction, and now we have to invade a munitions supply and I guess find it. And I'm not looking forward to that. But as a dutiful soldier of the fatherland, I guess we have to do it. So yeah, welcome back to Ad Infinitum, where we're likely about to get absolutely bodied. Here we go. Alrighty, so we're back. And I already hate this. I hate dynamo flashlights in general, so this is not fun. Alright, we can't go this way. So we gotta head here. And as soon as we finish the chapter, I think we'll finish the video. There's Weber's one. I'm not looking forward to whatever this is about, honestly. Let's go and find out. God, look at all these bombs and munitions we can't use. This makes me immensely sad, if I'm being honest. You know, at least the dynamo flashlight works a bit better in this one than it did in... That fucking dummy again. The Dark Descent. I think that dummy is just taunting me at this point. Station Road, yeah, that's where we gotta be. What do you want to pay soldiers to write letters home? Your parents, Ocel's broken off our engagement. Please do not be surprised if you do not hear from her anymore. When the war is over, it will be time for new beginnings. Perhaps we'll then rekindle her hope and turn her thoughts to us once more. I am keeping my chin up and thank you. think of you every day while I am out here doing... My duty for the fatherland, Casper. Oh no. Someone tells me, like, well, none of them made it back. They were all sent over the fucking wall. So. We know everyone's dead at this point. One concept of forbidden military mail. Unusual forms of writing. Any type of code. Illegible writing. Details of your position. Details to indicate your company's plans or tactics. Spot checks will be conducted. Makes sense. Post. Mail room, pretty much. Okay. Another note. Delivery Jack, I hear going. We're going to be heading south together with our neighboring companies. Perhaps a change of scenery will help. I can't get rid of these damned lice. I hope you've been not been hit too hard by the famine. I miss you so much with love. Martin Pakora. Of course, it was rejected because he literally said, well, we're going south. Smile. Terrible idea. more of that gas. You're free to our nooks. As I've already explained several times, you cannot possibly have heard the train. Please cease reporting these figments of your imagination. I mean, I don't know, Chief. Maybe he did. Follow the train tracks. Especially considering we've got the fucking train track right here. Look at this, just hope we can get over the bridge before train comes. Yeah, that would be the hope anyway. I really hope a train doesn't come. <coughs> Alrighty, so we're now on the chapter Corruption, which, if I remember correctly, is also the name of. We're well, on the level Corruption, but it's also the name of Chapter 2. So I think this could be the last level in this chapter. As a result, this is probably going to be a longer episode. Because um, I don't want to... I don't want to split it up if it's actually just going to be the end of the chapter. It's only going to be like 30 minutes. So, yeah. Let's get into it anyway. Something is blocking the factory. And that this, this looks like it could be it. 
It looks like a mouth or a maw of some kind. I'm already not liking this. We got a little flashlight, which I really don't want to be using, but would much prefer a firearm of sorts. But hey, I guess beggars cannot be choosers. Just gonna figure out what the hell we're supposed to do. First, we should probably answer this phone. Sounds good. How do I do that? Be careful. Saboteur. One of our own. Right. One of our own, you hear me? Who is the saboteur? I guess we're about to find out. First objective, anyway. Find the saboteur and get the factory up and running again. Seems doable. Note October here. October 13th, 1917. I have ordered our factories to cease the production of ordnance and arms with immediate effect. Robert refuses to comply. He says that to do so would be treason. So wait, like, it was the father that shut down the factories. Not, uh, ah. Oh my god, okay. I don't like the sound of that. So I guess we need to activate all these pumps or something. Maybe this is one of them over here is the light. Seems to be leading me to something. No, it's just a mass of broken pipes. Okay, I guess we have to just keep going. Ah. Follow the orange pipes and guide the steam from the furnaces to where the pressure is needed. We tried to keep the machines running, but they kept breaking down. We thought the enemy had sabotaged our work, but we could not find the culprit. As if the machines themselves refused to continue production. The others have disappeared. I need a fire. The furnaces, the factory must continue operation. Oh, okay. So we've actually got a guide where the steam goes, I think. Well, I think we got to send it to A2. Maybe? I have no idea what we're supposed to do here. Ah, here we go. A2. Oh, we can't go this way at all. Okay. It looks like I, I get it now. I think um, a one's where we want to go with the steam. No, it isn't. I'm so confused. I see, right, okay. We just set it to 300 and then turn it to A2. What was that? Oh, was this Gruber? Now when you find two's pressure gauge, which is here, 550. And we have to do B1, 
into B3. the sound of that guy running around to be honest I think he's probably gonna kick my ass got a note here as well as ordered the great lieutenant of the mighty German Kaiser started using the new poison gas compounds against the French she believes the killing us on the poor bastards in their own trenches will help us we've already read this one so I guess it's showing us <coughs> oh shit how can we not leave Alright, we shouldn't go that way. Okay. Uh, and then we want to go here. Oh, wait, no. We got to turn on the thing. It's 450. And then it is whether that symbol is let's find the pipe that it comes out of not even sure to be honest that's where we need to go I think oh wait no oh wait This isn't the one we need. Ah, uh, okay. Come back. It's Y there. Ah, this is the first one. Okay. Oh, I see. So Y is the first one. So it goes out of Y into G2. G3 into Y. Or, well, whatever that is, into G2, G3, Y. Throw that into Y. And this one over here should be G3. There we go. There's that third one. This is kind of going pretty easy, actually. I figured it'd be a bit harder. But maybe I'm wrong. What the hell was that? Oh, I don't like this. And we've got a bed here, so it's a, it's a checkpoint. Oh, no. Oh, we get gas, too. God damn it. Okay. All right. Let's get this done. Where is... Take this off for a second. Where's this goddamn furnace? There's the bed. Ah, here we go. So 600 into H1, H2, X. 600 into H1, H2, X. Boy, we don't want to do that. So 
X is there. So this would be H1. And the options are H2 and F1, which I think are over here. Yeah, H2 is there. And then our last one is X. So let's follow H2 pipe and see where that leads. It leads back here into the gas. Okay, so we're looking for F, I think. Or X, we're looking for the X pipe. Which I honestly have absolutely no idea where it is. X pipe, X pipe. X pipe, where is it? Come on, it's gotta be around here somewhere. Doesn't seem like it is. Of course, the last pipe we need is probably in the poison gas somewhere. And I have absolutely no idea where. Unless it's in there. Let's check. No, that's that's the power place. Or unless I'm genuinely just being blind. X into H1. Which leads us over here. To H2, which leads us... Over that way. So it is in the gas over there somewhere. Let's take this off for a second so we can let it recharge. Ah, here it is. Upstairs, maybe? I doubt it's upstairs. That make absolutely no sense. No, we can't come back upstairs. Right, so we're completely lost in the gas. No idea where this third pipe is. There has to be another area where there's gas and we just haven't seen it yet. Ah, here we go. Jesus, there was no way I could have seen that. Going to X. A lot of this gas. Um, we want to take off the gas mask so we can actually get our air back. There we go. Okay. We're safe from the gas. I honestly have no idea how many times I said gas in that one sentence or in that one minute, but. Fair amount, actually. Anyway, 
I guess let's go see what the story is. Relieve the Kaiser's crown and we will, he will see the light. Okay. Path leading up here. Where does this lead? Bunch of metal scrap. There's also this area here. I don't know where this leads, but let's take a look at it too. Oh, we got a soldier here. It's the dummy. The dummy is happy to see you. Yeah, I'm not really happy to see it, to be honest. It's kind of getting weird how much it stalks me around. So I guess we gotta head down here. And back up here. We get a note as well. Gas makes you ill, Papa says. You should always turn it off all the way. Right. I don't know what kind of child you that, but it's kind of messed up looking. We get a bed here as well, which I'm not... I Whenever I see one of these like, checkpoint beds, I'm always nervous. Strike for peace, you feel betrayed. Yeah. Alright, we want to head up here. And this should lead us to our main thing. Yeah. Telegraph slips. Central control element corrupt. Production on hold. There's the bridge going down. Oh, in this area, ha actions will have consequences. No, the boss area. Reactivate the factory. Workers to sabotage or shut down the factory. We must try to get production up and running again. To do so, the gas pressure in all supply lines needs to be set to the maximum level. Once we have enough pressure, we can store power to the factory using the lever in the central console. However, if the production hall falls into enemy hands, we must disable production for good. And you shut off the gas flow that manually activated the diversion mechanism to redirect the pressure to the outside. Corruption. You descend like an easterly wind. A promise of home and hero's death. But then you feast and all life ends. Right. So I wonder how we're going to get the, uh, I guess, good ending for this boss fight. Let's find out. What even is corruption? We've seen rage, but... Oh, is that corruption right there? Hello? That's corruption. Okay, so what's going on here? Did we do the wrong thing? Oh, that's the thing from the start of the video. Or not the video, the start of the chapter even. Uh-oh. Ow! Oh no. Low pressure to divert gas. That's what we're gonna do. Oh 
shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. This guy's fast. This guy's fast. Come on. Oh, hello. Okay, so here's how we do this. We wait for him to come over. And then we're gonna run for it. And pull the lever. And nothing happens. Uh, except... He's gonna run out of power, I guess. Oh. Did he just give up? It's like he realized himself the same way that the other one did. It's like they realized themselves. He must lose his crown to see. Ah. Oh. See, yeah, I guess this is the good side is they realize they don't go crazy. They realize and then they pass on. Same way that the mother did. I guess. Yeah. Here's the next mirror shards. Okay, so I guess we're about to... Yeah, chapter three, pain. I guess this is where we wake up in our bed again. Yeah, here we go. As if from a nightmare. Oh, and there's some soldiers. Hello, boys. How's it going? So there's someone there. Alrighty. It looks like the mirror is nearly finished. We got like one more segment. Let's like turn on the lights so we can see and stuff. New notes. This is survey that Paul von Schmidt has graduated the Prussian Military Cadet Academy with flying colors as of April 1916. Is hereby recommended for the officer fast track in aid of the war effort. Death. The front is eating us alive here in Flanders. And what's left of us? The rats and the lice take too. Every day for this war to be over. Before the next wave of German heroes is burned to ashes in this madness. Please reply. Just this once at least. Your brother. Looks like Paul really hated his brother, Jesus. It says you're doing the right thing. Am I? Yes. Maybe I'll go with Christian. In America, freedom is more than just a word. Not like here. But such a journey would be expensive. What? He seems to be looking out for you just like he always used to. You want to come with me? <laughs> I, I don't think America is for you. You take after father too much. Hey, there's no need to get mad. Hey! Yikes, okay. So, originally Paul just wanted to be like, like his brother, I guess. And, well, Johannes didn't really like let that happen. And now they're kind of opposite ends of things. Alrighty, so I think we're on to the final major chapter then. By the looks of it, this mirror is about to be complete. And... We're going to end the video here. This is part three of Ad Infinium or Infinitum. I'm still fucking up that name. And I genuinely think I probably should have made uh, the first two episodes one 
So we might call it episode 1.5, chapter 1 or something. I'm not sure. But, um... I feel like if we do this by chapter and just kind of edit it up a bit, it's going to be a lot neater than if we just, like, leave it disjointed. So this is all of chapter 2. We're going to start chapter 3 in the next episode and hopefully figure out just what the hell is going on. Things are getting bleak looking already and I'm not looking forward to finding out just what exactly I've done. But yeah, we'll leave it here. Thank you all so much for watching as always. And I will see you in the next one. Till then, thanks for watching and have a good one.